Hi, my name is Eric. I'm a research scientist here at the Clean Air Nuclear Laboratories. This might look like a big ant farm, but actually it is not. It is a fluidized bed. So a fluidized bed basically is like a hot tub where you bubble air through the bottom, where uh, instead of uh, hot water in here, it's actually silica sand. This way, the sand actually behaves like a liquid or in a fluidized state, has excellent heat and mass transfer rates. So compared to a, a system where sand is not being mobilized by air, uh, the rate of heat transfer is 10 times better. So that's why we chose this system. The goal is to create a uh, nuclear hybrid energy system where we can store some of the heat uh, that is generated during the off-peak hours in sand for hours, even days. And then when we have high demand, we can take the energy out and then put it back to the grid. We see that electrification is, is important. And how do we support this kind of initiative is that we need a lot of energy storage. Not only we need more capacity, but we also need more energy storage. So by investing into a, energy, a hybrid energy system, we can actually harvest the, the energy that's uh, produced during the off times and then use it during the peak times. And that will actually give us a lot of advantage. So the immediate next step is to uh, scale up this apparatus and uh, even further, we, we transition from you know, currently using uh, just a heat transfer probe to using actual stainless steel pipes. That actually facilitate uh, the actual passage of gas, for example, steam or helium, that's gonna be used in a uh, you know, small modular reactor. This shift from a probe to an actual real gas flow will give us a better prediction of the, you know, the heat transfer rate I mentioned so many times. And looking further down the horizon, our ultimate objective is to construct a pilot plant that will be, tap be tapped directly into a small modular reactor that you know, uh, potentially will be built on site.